Good morning. Hope you're all doing well. Sorry I was looking to my side because the computer's there, the camera's here. So if I glance to my occasionally, forgive me. Hope you're all doing well. Better weather are today than it has been. Obligatory cup of something in hand. Coffee this time actually. I thought what I'd do today for you um, is do a paint through of a face. Show you my method of painting a face or a head. Uh, it's the most important thing on a miniature is the face is the first thing you look at. Um, many a miniature have I seen painted beautifully only to be let down by the face. People who are great at painting miniatures don't seem to have learned the technique for painting heads and faces which to me is the most important thing. It's the first thing you look at when you look at a miniature, or me anyway, it's the first thing I look at when I look at a miniature is the face. So it needs to be done right. Now I'm not saying my way is the way you must do it or you have to do it this way. This is just my way, my idea. If you can find an easier way or a better way, then fantastic. This is just sort of my idea on it. Um, for sure it's not going to win you any competitions but it'll give you a very nice standard for the gaming table which is what we're after we're after a very nice standard for the gaming table so I thought what I would paint and I'll tell you something this is the third go at this video I've had two goes and wasn't happy with the results. <clears throat> I'll show you what I painted yesterday, actually. What we're going to paint is one of these alpine heads. Probably do the guy with the cap in the bottom. Um, that guy there. Everything's back to front on my camera as you look at it. But we'll do that guy with the cap peaked cap on. The guy in the center with, uh, I believe, that sort of like a forage cap. Um, I did him yesterday, actually. That's what I painted yesterday. And I was very pleased with the result, actually. I don't know whether this camera will let me show it you. See if I can see if I can get him to let's give me a bit of card here a minute. Come on, come on. I think you more or less see that. I can try it with the white. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. That's what we did yesterday. So pleased was I with that. Bearing in mind it come from a pack that was just heads. So pleased was I with that. <clears throat> Made me want to um, put the thing on the rest of the body get a body for it so I went and got that pack I have a box here a sort of so so box and all it's got in it is alpine miniatures every whip and flip, flip if I've got a few a few pounds spare I get one or two alpine miniatures and just add to the box because they're nice for sort of specialist type figures they're nice so anyway I went and got that figure. 
There he is. Waffen SS sort of tank commander. So we'll use that body. Save the head for another day. And we'll put our newly painted head on that. So that's one thing we will do. It won't take much to paint that body because it's virtually all black. So it shouldn't take us long at all to do that. But that's what we'll do. That head deserves a body. So we'll do it. And we'll do our um, guy with the peak cap there. It's not going to focus now, is it? Now, for some reason, it doesn't want to focus now. This is supposed to be an auto focus camera. There you go. We do the guy with the peak cap, and as you can see, it's from the Waffen SS headset number four. So we'll do that. And we'll paint that through for you and we'll show you my pa my painting technique for a head for 135 scale head but you could just as easily use the same technique on um 28 mil 54 mil you know whatever whatever so the brush oh, that coffee's giving me wind excuse me the brushes we will be using for this is a number one so you can see that by rosemary and co probably a really won't focus oh yeah there you go hey zero again by rosemary and co which won't focus, you take my word for it, that's a zero. A three zero. Which is certainly not going to focus. <laughs> Again, take my word for it. And a five zero. Now this one is not by Rose Minko, this is by Raphael. Simply because I couldn't seem to find that smaller brush by Rosemary and Co. They seem to stop at 3-0. 3-0 is seems to be the lowest they go for some reason. If anybody knows different, knows where I can get you know 4-0-5-0-6-0 by Rosemary and Co. I'd be delighted to hear it. But this is a Raphael. But they're all Kalinsky Sable. The Royal Kalinsky Sable. You could, if you wanted, use all Raphael brushes. I mean, it's a personal choice, but I always say good miniatures deserve good brushes. So that's a 5 0 by Raphael because there's some piping on the guy's hat. So we'll do that with the 5 0. And there's also one. old synthetic brush here As you can see the tips gone on that already that brush you see how the tips gone that's what happens with synthetic brushes so for actually painting miniatures I never use synthetic brushes uh, but they have their place on the workbench they do have their place this one we will be using for mixing colors rather than mix colors with your best sable brushes use an old synthetic brush if it gets knackered just chuck it in the bin use another one i've got plenty here i've got oodles of them here so just use one of them colors we will be using for this head are as follows quite considerable actually German Sea Pale Brown A25 German Sea Pale Brown which you should all have in your painting kit it's a great colour Black
ladders. Come on, focus. There you go, flat earth. Light grey. Pink. These are in no particular order. Refractive green. German grey. German field grey. World War II field grey. Pale sand. Which is not going to focus for some reason. Doesn't like pale sand. There you go, pale sand. Red, 926 red, that's what I use for painting the berries on British Airborne troops, red. Always pays to have a bit of white on your bench. Not saying we're going to use it, but we might use it, so it's handy to have it there. Panzer Aces Flesh Base. Medium flesh tone. Dark flesh. Don't worry, nearly there. The Army Painter War Paints Shining Silver. There you go. From their metallics range. Army Painter. Quick shade, light tone, handsome, glaze medium, there you go, glaze medium. That's the paints we will be using for this one head, believe it or not. We will also need Our pin drill, our comedian drill, a little bit of garden wire, some super glue. That just about covers it, I think. Obviously, for the drill, we we'll need the appropriate size drill bit the same gauge as your wire. So what I will do is I will drill out bottom of the neck, put a little hole in it, super glue our head to a piece of wire for ease of handling. That's what we'll do. So that's our kit as we need it for this head. Uh, and the only other thing we really need is a wet palette which my wet palette's in the fridge. So there we are, so we're ready to go. Let's make a start. Let's make a start. Let's hit the bench. Right, here we are down at the bench. Here's our figure, or our head, prepped, and on a piece of wire. Now with these heads, you'll find there's usually a Quite a piece of, um, yeah, there you go, there you can see it. Quite a piece of resin attached to the bottom of the head. So to get rid of that, I used this. There you go, saw. My Tamaya. It's, it's apparently it's called an. Um, I can find it. An Alpha saw for finest work, Alpha Japan. So it's an Alpha saw. 
and it's got changeable changeable blades on it so that's ideal see here's another another blade I've got for it always pays to have the right tools to hand if possible and it was just a case of sanding the bottom of the head where I trimmed off the excess resin give him a, give him a little washing detergent and super glued him to this piece of wire for ease of handling so what we'll do now is we'll give him a coat of primer my primer of choice is I can get it up right. Dark yellow, German dark yellow. You can just about see that. Doesn't want to focus for some reason again. <laughs> I wonder why. German dark yellow. Anyway, you can see that well enough. And that's by Vallejo. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, it's funny why this camera doesn't focus. Ah, there you go. German dark yellow. So I'll give him a coat of that with our number one brush. If I can find it. Just wash off the... Um, um, resin that's on my brush. When I finish for the day, I've washed the brushes out and they're clean. I dip them in that stuff, gum Arabic, and work them to a point. And that just keeps the point nice for when I come to use it next time. Right. German yellow. Let's have a bit of See what I'm doing here. Here we go. Just one nice even coat of German yellow. Probably take two coats to do this figure. The figure I did yesterday, that took two coats. So I shouldn't think this figure would be any different. In fact, I almost guarantee it won't. What I did notice was this fit with this figure. So I'll show you in a second. Well, hopefully I'll show you in a second. There's no hair on this figure because underneath his cap, and you can see it at the back, he's got a bandage on his head. Obviously he's been injured at some point, this guy. And somebody's put a field dressing around his head. So we won't have to paint the hair on this guy, but that's, that doesn't matter. Just paint the bandage instead. So all you gotta do, just one nice even coat of German yellow primer and just be careful to make sure you've got no air bubbles in it anywhere. It's the last thing you want is air bubbles because once they dry air bubbles um, you've had it you can't get rid of them. There you go. There you go, that's our guy. Let's see if I can get him in focus there. There you go. That's our guy. Doesn't look like he's completely covered, but I assure you he is. 
So we'll let this guy dry. There you go. Let us let this guy dry. We'll give him a second coat. Ouch. And then we'll come back for the next step. So see you when we've done with the primer. Right, so here we go. Here's our guy with two coats of German yellow primer. And hopefully you can see on the back of his head the bandage there. Yeah, you can just see that, the bandage on the back of his head there. So no need to paint the hair on this figure. But what we'll do now is we'll give him a couple of finished coats of Panzerace's flesh base. Always better to give a couple of thin coats rather than one great big thick coat. Look in the eye socket there. And obviously we'll let the first coat dry. And then we'll give him a second coat. Don't worry if you go over the bandage or a bit of a hat or something. We can correct that later. Here we go. It's as simple as that. Make sure the ears are covered there. There you go. Wash my brush out. There you go. There you go. And as you can see, that does need another coat. Needs a second coat. So we'll let that dry out. We'll give him a second coat. And we'll come back when we're done. Right, so here goes. Here's our guy with two coats of Panzer Ace's flesh base. So what we're going to do now is we're going to paint in the eyes. Before we do anything else, we'll paint in the eyes. Because as I say to you, the most important part of the miniature is the face and the most important part of the face is the eyes. So if you get them right, everything else should follow. Fingers crossed. So what we're going to use for the eyes to start with is our pale sand. Which is probably not going to, um, probably not going to focus. There you go, pale sand. And all we're going to do is paint in both eye sockets with pale sand. Don't use white. White is too much. It's too stark. You don't want stark, strange-looking eyes. You just want them to look as natural as possible. So we'll take our... Um, which brush are we going to use for this? Our O brush. And we'll just paint those eye sockets in with pale sand. Let me get a bit of water here a second on my palette. High time I clean this palette out actually. I actually use this O brush 
to apply the um, um, flesh base as well. Right, so here goes. Don't worry if you think the eye sockets are too big. You've painted them in too big. We'll correct that later. Needn't that needn't worry us at present. Let's get a bit more up here. Here we go. Absolutely fine. That is absolutely fine. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that. Bit difficult to see under the cap. But that's our eye sockets painted with pale sand. So we'll let that dry. And then we'll put some life into the eyes. Right, here we go. Back we are again. The day after the night before. Day two of filming this video. There you see our guy with his eyes painted with pale sand. So what we're going to do now is give some life to the eyes. And we're going to paint a, paint a stripe down the center of each eye with our 5 O brush. And I could use any color for this, you know, black, brown, dark blue. Sort of an, um, an eye color. That's what you want, an eye color. So let's get our stripe down the center of each eye. If you make a mistake, and you make a muck of it, don't worry about it. Just um, leave it dry and paint over the eye again in pale sand until you get it right. This is quite awkward because you've got a peaked cap on this guy. Hopefully I get this done in one. Oh. She made a bit of a pig's ear of this left eye. Or should I say it's right eye, left as I'm looking at it. Yeah, made a total mess of that. So what we'll do... I'll just get a bit of flesh base here a minute. Is we'll have to leave that dry. And paint over it again with some pale sand. Because I've made a pig's ear of it, folks. As often happens. As often happens. But the, you know, it doesn't doesn't matter. Just leave it dry. Paint over it again with a little squidge of pale sand and do it again. So let me I've got some brown on the flesh base as well. 
So we'll paint over that a minute. Right. Where's my tail sand? I would hope that's probably dry already. Brown. So that's paint over that pale sand. Yeah, paint him over. Paint him out. Yeah, it happens. It happens. You make mistakes. Right. Oh, there's a little bit of flesh base with some pale sand on it. So we'll just sort that out. I missed a little bit of flesh base in his ear as well. So we'll, whilst we're here doing these jobs, you're always adjusting and correcting things as you go with these figures. You only see half of his ear on his left side because he's got the field dressing over it. All right, a little bit more pale sand in his eye here, just to cover that brown where we made a faux pas. Yeah, going to be a nice figure, this guy. Going to be a nice figure. Whilst we wait for that pale sound just to dry off a minute whilst I'm here, I'll show you a few of the other faces I've done. Right, where's my board there a minute? Quite a nice figure. What else have we got here? What else have we got here? Quite a nice figure. And of course the two that we're working on at present, if I can find somewhere to put this figure, two that we're working on at present are Priest, and our Major Carlisle figure. Do we get a bit closer for you? It's probably not the best shot of that. It doesn't really want to focus. Try it on the white background. Yeah. Right, so let's, ouch, let's do that eye again. Hopefully we'll get it right this time. Just a straight dash, straight down the center of each eye. If you can get it. Bingo. Bingo, there we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Yeah. 
Yeah, this will focus. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that now. Doesn't want to focus this morning, this camera. I don't know why. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. That's all you need to do, folks. So we'll let them settle down a minute. We'll give them five, ten minutes to dry. Then we'll add some shadows to this figure and we'll narrow down the eyes to make them look more human-like. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, back we again. So we've done our eyes on our head. We dash down each one with... That's the one I used. Which is not going to focus. Well, I think you can read that. I think you can read that. Flat brown. It's not going to focus for some reason. I don't like it when it doesn't focus. Come on, focus. Do it. Do it. There you go. Flat brown. I know it would do it eventually, but that's what we use for our... But you could have just as easily used black or a dark blue, you know, Prussian blue or something like that. As long as it's sort of an eye color. So what we'll do now is we'll add some shadows to our face and we'll use our shadow paint to narrow down the eyes and give them a proper eye shape. And for that we will use our Panzer Aces Flesh Base and we'll add some which is not going to focus oh there you go German Sea Pale Brown in a ratio of about 3 to 1 something like that I can't tell you exactly because it's one of these things I know it when I see it but it's, it's roughly about 3 to 1 and this is where our old synthetic brush comes in handy. We'll mix the paint with that. Rather than use our good sable brushes for mixing the colour together, we'll use this old synthetic brush. If this gets knackered, it doesn't matter. So let's hit the base, hit the base, hit the desk. And we'll apply some shadow to our head. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Eyes down for a full house. Let's get my get my lamp down here a minute. Here we go. Right. Let's get some flesh base here a minute. Gotta get my... Um, electric paint shaker going again. This is no good. Using my damn arm all the time. Oh, and I should have said, the brush we use for this shadow is our um, Raphael 5-0, which is not going to focus, but don't really matter. I don't know why this camera doesn't want to focus today. Ah, there you go. There's our Raphael 5-0. That's what we'll use to apply our um, shadow colour. So let's mix a bit of this up a minute. Excuse me for doing this sort of off camera. Forgive me. Oh, 
Right, there we go. If I showed you a bit of this on the end of the brush, I don't know whether you'd see it or not. You probably wouldn't see that anyway, would you? Let's have a look. There you go. Well, that's the sort of color I'm aiming for. Quite a light color, actually, quite a light tone. That's our clock chiming. It must be half past twelve, I think. Oh, one o'clock. Right, here we go. Let's get these eyes shaped up. A little difficult to do on this figure because he's got a peaked cap on. I see if I can. He's got a peaked cap on, so it makes um, life a little bit difficult, but should be doable, should be doable. So let's, let's get stuck in here. doing this job it's you finally get the uh, figure to look human if that makes any sense It's the fun part of the whole process. Yeah, there you go. And like I said before, if you Do make a mock of it, which is easily done. Where are we to here? Oh, there we are. If you do make a mock of it, don't worry about it, just paint over it and start again. Yeah. So all you gotta do. A little bit difficult on his right eye because the peak of the cap is down quite quite low. Which way do we need to go with this? Probably the bottom needs to go up, doesn't it? Yeah. Probably the bottom. So, get rid of that a bit. Oh, yeah. Just a little tiny bit on the bottom here.
that's quite good that's quite good I'll show you in a second disappear on me yeah I quite like this it does take a little bit of time to get it right but that's quite good just a little bit up on the top of the eye, I think. Yeah, that's quite good. I'll just show you this a second. Then we'll do the rest of the shadowing. You know how well you can see that on here. Probably with the peak of the cap pulled down over it you're probably not going to be able to see it very well Let's see if I can show you a bit that no probably with the shadow coming from the peak of the cap probably doesn't show up that well But anyway, we'll do the rest of the shadow now. And we'll get him to look something like it. But yeah, very pleased with the eyes. What I should have said was, let's go back of the bench a minute, let's go upstairs a minute All right, we'll come back up a minute what I should have said, I should have took my glasses off, what I should have said just now was with our 5O brush we'll shadow right here to narrow the eyes a little bit here a little bit here a little bit between the bottom lip and the chin here maybe a little bit tiny little bit here on the inner ear behind the ear under the chin and under the jawline that's where we allowed our shadow color so we've done the eyes, and they've gone down very well, although you can't really see them on that picture because of the peak of the cap is casting a shadow, which is a pity, I'd like, like for you to have seen that, but they've gone down very nice. So we'll add the shadow. In the rest of the places now. I think we can get a little bit to the forehead. Right, a little bit on the inner ear. Difficult, difficult on the left ear because it's covered by the field dressing. Line. 
I'll do the chin. I've just been informed I have to go out at quarter past four. I have a meeting I have to attend. Such is life. There we go. That's our shadow colour. There we go, just add a little bit. because we got some like divvy cheese che um, cheeks here so I just add a little bit of color to that right so what I'm gonna do just take a little bit of the flesh tone just put a little bit flesh tone here because I've got a little bit too much shadow color there. So you can always correct things as you go. Here we go. Looking good. We are looking good. So let's see if I can get you to see that. I don't know how well this is going to show up. But now we've got shadow tones on the side of the face and the ears. all the places I just mentioned. I think you possibly even see the eyes now on that that shot. So we'll let that dry for a second and we'll come back and we'll start adding some highlights to this fella. Right we're going again. Right. Damn, I need another cup of tea. Right. This time, we've done our shadow colour. This time, we're going to do some highlights. And we'll take... Oh. Medium flesh tone. And we'll add... German sea pale brown like we just done with the shadow colour we will add German sea pale brown in the same ratio about 3 to 1 in favour of medium flesh tone and we'll use that for our highlight and the places we'll be highlighting will be up here as much as I can get up here because he's got a cap pulled down so as much as I can get up here here chin, down the nose, a little tiny bit on the sides, top of the ears, and um, the jawline. That'll be our first highlight. So let's hit the deck and get that done for you. Here we go. Here we go. Once again, using our 5 0 brush, Hawaii 5 0. Whatever happened to that program? Hawaii 5 0. Alright, let's get a little bit of water with this.
paint just to thin it down a bit. Right, here we go. And a little bit above the eyes, but not too much because there's a lot of shadow there from the cap. So you're not really going to get much there. Plus one, folks. How time flies when you're having fun. There we go. A little bit there. Doing this method actually will look quite sort of patchy after a fashion. But don't worry about it because we'll get around that. Right, a little bit on the jawline. A tiny bit on his ear there, but can't see much of his ear because of the field dressing. Right, a little bit on this here, which you can see. You can always neaten things up as you go. Right. Just get a little bit of flesh tone. Just take a bit of that away. Right. 
yeah you can always adjust things as you go just look at the thing and see where it needs more effort and where it doesn't right we'll call that it for that Hopefully you can see this. Let's have a look. Hopefully you can. See this if it will focus for me. Come on, come on, focus. Starting to look a bit more human now. Yeah, starting to look the business now. Right, what we will do now is if I can get a close up of that. No, it's not going to focus that close, is it? Anyhow, what we will do now... Here you go. What we will do now... Let that dry a minute or two, I'll go and make cup tea. What we will do next is we will do exactly the same area as we've just done but just in smaller amounts and the colour we will use this time will be medium flesh tone there you go medium flesh tone and again we'll mix in a bit of German sea pale brown with it same ratio by three to one three flesh tone one to German sea pale brown and we will do exactly the same areas that we've just painted only smaller amounts what you're doing is layering your paint in ever decreasing amounts and in ever lighter tones so you're building the figure up so I'll come back when that's dry. I'll make I'll go and make cup tea a minute. And we'll do some more highlights. Right, right, back we again. Gonna do our final highlight. And this is dark flesh. dark flesh and a little bit of German sea pale brown I never did work out with Vallejo paints how dark dark flesh is lighter than medium flesh how do you work that out Never did work that one out. Right, starting to look good. Starting to look good. Top of this ear. Right, 
remember you're doing the same areas you've just done but you're doing it in smaller amounts that's all Starting to look, look the real deal now. Just a little tiny smidgen on the top lip there. And a little bit on his chin. Yeah, starting to look. Starting to look good. Right, what I am going to do is put a little bit of the previous color, our first highlight, just put a little bit on his neck by a sort of Adam's apple. Just to this got quite an Adam's apple sticking out on this head and a little bit of our final highlight on top of that what's called the wet blending yeah I like that that's quite good I'm quite happy with that. Let's see if I can get to show you this. If we can get the thing to focus. Clear some space here a minute. I don't know how well that's focusing. Yeah, that's... Gone in quite nicely. Yeah, I like that. So we'll give that a few minutes to dry. Then we'll give this guy a... bit of a complexion. I'll show you how we do that. Right, we're off and running again. Here we go. Right, we're going to give our guy a little bit of a complexion. And what we've done is we have mixed... Where's my magic solution that I was using? There it is. We've taken some of this, our glaze medium, and into that we have added just a teeny weeny amount of our red and we'll use that to give our guy a complexion so we'll drop a little bit of that in between the lips there we go put a little bit in the ears Just a little smidgen in the ears. And a little bit on the highest part of the cheeks. Or the sort of cheeks themselves. There we go. It's 
not looking too bad. Yeah, quite happy with that guy. I would have put a little bit on the forehead, but being the fact he's got a cap pulled down, that's sort of not really a possibility. Here we go. I think that's quite good. So we'll let that dry now. Let's see if I can get you a shot of this. Which way have I got to hold that? See if I can get you a shot of this. See if it will focus. Come on, focus up. Come on. Come on, focus up, will you? Ah, oh, this camera's going to be awkward. Come on, come on, you know you can do it. thing. Let's turn this light off. See if we can do it. This light turned off. That doesn't really doesn't really show it in a very good light that Bloody thing doesn't want to focus, does it? Right. Where there's a will, there's a way. I mean, honestly, this is an autofocus camera. So it says. There. I think you can hopefully see. He looks quite human. Uh, see if I can. Let's turn him around, get him viewed on this side. Yeah, well there you can see him anyway. I think that looks quite human. Next step is to do the hat. So we'll paint the top of the hat with 830 German field grey and we'll paint the cap, uh, the peak of the cap black. That's our next job. Right, now we're off. Okay. Right, so we're going to paint the cap on this guy. Field grey. So let's get a bit of feel grey on this guy. Let me just put some water on my palette a minute from my dropper bottle just to thin the paint a little bit. Might need to just thin this down a tad, this paint, which we have just done. Right, so we'll Right, so I can instantly see that 
our cap here is going to take a couple of coats of this field grey. But that's no problem. Always better to add a couple of coats of or thin coats of paint rather than one huge thick coat. And this is our, did I just say, I can't remember what I just said, did I say this is our um, O brush we are using. We've gone back to our O brush, our zero brush. We have left the five brush behind and we've gone to our zero brush. Got to be careful here, I don't get feel grey on this guy's ear. There we go. There we go. That's pretty good. your brush out and get a little bit of black on the peak of this guy's cap. Where's me water? Let's have a bit of water here a minute just to thin this paint down a bit. Don't want it too thick. Don't want it too thick. Right, think I can get away here. We're using my O brush. Brush, I tell you, it makes me think. Brushes are a bit like golf clubs. You've got to have the right club for the right shot. You know? Whatever. Shot you're playing in golf. If you need the right club. And it's the same for painting. Whatever little painting job you're doing. You need the right. You need the right brush. Right. So what I'm going to do to get under the peak of the cap, and not to make a pig's ear of it, I'm going to forego the O brush and go back to the five O. Just to allow me to delicately get under the peak of the hat. So as not to make a <laughs> Pig's ear of the thing. All right. This is being awkward, this paint. Let's get some water here. Let's 
thin this paint down a little bit. It's not being very, paint's not being very compliant. Right, here we go. Right, go on over the edge of the field dressing, but that needn't concern us, we can sort that out in a minute. That's not a concern. It's nothing that can be sorted, ladies and gentlemen. Let's manipulate that around. Come on, you're being awkward now. There we go. That's pretty good. What I'm going to do is just tidy that up a little bit with some flesh tone. I can find it. Give me a bit of flesh tone here. Make mistakes, it's all stuff that can be corrected. It's all stuff that can be corrected. Take your time, there's no rush. Always remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It burnt pretty quickly, huh? for a minute we'll leave that dry for a few minutes then we'll give it both another coat yeah Let's have a look. Yeah. Starting to look the real deal now. Starting to look the real deal. Well, we'll leave that dry and we'll give it a second coat. And then I'll come back to you and we'll do the next step. Right, here we go.
two coats of paint later, feel grey and black. Which way are we going here? Right. Trying to get this in focus for you. Well, that's two coats of paint anyway. Two coats of field grey and two coats of black on the peak. Is it really right up close? Is he able to focus right up close? Yeah, starting to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint in the field dressing on the back of his head there. We're going to paint that in. And I'm going to use pale sand for that. And there goes my brush on the floor. So I'm going to use pale sand for that as the first colour. Just as a base colour. So I want this bandage to look pretty dirty because our guys on active service so I sort of want this to look like a dirty field dressing and I think we'll put some blood of some kind on this dressing as well just to dirty it up a little bit sand on his peak but we'll get rid of that in a minute well hopefully anyway I wish those seagulls would shut up Yeah, very hard, very... Sad to hear a Trevor Francis passing on. Great player from my youth. Sad to hear him passing on. Only sixty nine, which in today's parlance it's not really that old. So for this bandage or field dressing, I'm back on the 5-0 brush again. So we'll dirty this bandage up a bit. Make it look a bit bloodied 
and a bit grubby. Because this guy, whoever he is, he's on active service. Three o'clock. Yeah. our field dressing painted in. Here we go. So we'll leave that dry, our field dressing. Let's see if I can show you that. Yeah, I can show you that. Yeah, there you go. Difficult to manipulate this thing and get it right. There you go. Now you can see it. There you can see it. So it's starting to look so you don't get him up close, yeah. Doesn't really like focusing this camera. Gotta get a better camera, folks. But starting to get there, starting to get there. So we'll let this dry out for a bit and we'll come back to you. Right, here we go. Here's our guy. He's not gonna focus now. Here we go. Here's our guy as far as we've gotten him. So what we're going to do with this guy now is we're going to highlight the cap and the bandage, the field dressing. So what we'll do is we'll highlight the cap with some 890 refractive green German grey and we'll highlight the bandage with some off-white which you just saw there which is not going to focus camera up to its usual tricks again But you can see that that's off. Oh, there you go, off white, eight twenty. So let's highlight that once again with our five O brush. Getting to the end of this little. 
project now, this little tutorial. Let's just get the um, resin out of my brush a minute. Yeah, very nice figure of this. Very very pleased with him. Very pleased indeed. Take your time, no rush. Although I would like to get this job finished today and I can get it film edited and pinned up for you. Terribly poor weather here today, pouring with rain, and I have to go out later, which I'm not looking forward to going out in the rain. But such is life. Sometimes, folks, you have to go out in the rain. There you go. Most of the highlighting for the cap is done on the top of the cap, actually. There's some folds in the top of the cap, which is what I need. Highlighting. of the cap. There we go, that's pretty good. I think we'll Good to add, I think. Right, let's highlight the peak of the cap, which we'll is give it a little bit of German grey. Just to highlight that a little bit. It's what I tend to do when I'm using black. I tend to do highlights of German grey. dirty this bandage up and just make it look like a dirty field dressing
see these highlights. Where are we to here? Let's get our figure. Whether you'll be able to see these or not. Highlight or two on the peak of the cap. I think you can see there's some highlighting on the top of the cap. With the reflective green. Whether well, you can see that or not, it's not focusing very well. I've got to get a better camera than this, folks. You know, this is an autofocus camera, and it just... never wants to focus. Look at that. That is just useless. There you go. I don't know whether you can see that or not. The highlights on the top of the cap there. But we'll let that dry for a minute. Then we'll give the top of the cap another little highlight, just a little bit lighter than reflective green. We'll add some white to it. And another little highlight on the bandage. And we'll do that. We'll just let this dry a minute. Right, folks. What I've just noticed is our guy here, the center of the cap where the Death's Head logo goes. That should be black and not field gray. So we'll do that black. And we'll add a final highlight to the field gray part of the cap with some refractive green with a little bit of white added just to highlight bring up bring it up a little bit for a final highlight and then we'll put a teensy weensy weensy little bit of pure white on the bandage so let's get that painted in somebody on my phone there just now making a noise All right let's paint in this black part of his cap a minute Let's get that painted in. Very remiss of me to leave that field green actually. Honestly ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. <laughs> No, it's easily done, easily done. But at least I have noticed it. Which is the main, the main thing I have noticed it. We all make mistakes, we're only human. piping on this hat to be done as well. That's going to be real fun. That's always a tough ask actually and piping on things.
Right. Getting towards the end of this job. Now when I have done it, actually, I'll get back to my civilians. Just as well, I'm using a 5 0 brush. So this is rather fiddly, folks. But there's no rush, take your time. Stick at that, Karen. It's always a job to know doing these fiddly little things, whether to stick or twist. gone a bit much there or have I gone not enough not enough actually yeah oh I see Excuse me for not saying anything, I'm <laughs> concentrating like mad on this. Because I don't want to make a sales ear of it. Which I don't think I've done. do have to do is do that um, piping in a little bit right that's better I'll show you this in a second right just tiny little touch of pure white on that Bandage. Right. Hello. 
little bit of refractive green just with a little bit of white added and it is just the merest smidgen just to give out a final the cap so the cap is sort of you can't see me you're moving my hands but the, the cap is sort of folded in places so it's sort of going to be a bit lighter in places who keeps banging my doors Good, we'll stick at that, Karen. We'll let that black dry and the bandage dry. I hope you can see this now. Yeah, let's see if I can get this a bit better for you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. The highlights on the cap, you can sort of see. Right, so we'll let that dry a minute. I'll have a cup of tea. Well, dirty up our bandage. Right, here we go again. Quick slug of tea. Right. What we're going to do with our guy now <coughs> is take some flat earth, very, very watery flat earth. And just dirty up the edges of the bandage a bit, the field dressing. And this is very watery. When I say watery, I mean watery. to make that not so clean and tidy because this guy's in the field he's on active service and you get dirty folks That's what happens. That's what happens. So I want him to be a bit... I want it to be rather dirty. There we go. Might try a little bit of this brown. Let's try a little bit of this somewhere.
dirty that up a bit. We'll add a little bit of blood in a bit. Right. Hopefully, I see if we can get you to see that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. It's a bit dirty, that bandage. Dirtied him up there. So we'll let that dry. And we'll add, we'll add a little bit of blood. Right, so we've made up a little bit of glaze medium. With some red in it. Same as we did for giving the face a complexion. We're just going to use this as our blood medium and we'll put some of this on our bandage. Stronger than that, so let's yeah. See if we can get that a bit stronger. Let's not be greedy. Right. Hopefully. You can see that now. It's got a little bit of blood on it. A dirty. Bloodied bandage on our guy. So we'll let that dry. And I suppose the next thing we ought to do really. Is um, is the piping on the hat? This guy. Not looking forward to that, really. Never feel that confident doing the piping on things. There you go. But it's got to be done. So we'll do it in white. And then we'll go over the top of it with pink. If you just do pink on black, you won't get a very good depth of colour. So we'll do the piping white. And then go over it in pink. But we'll let this blood dry for a minute or two. And then we'll tackle the piping. Right, back with you again. Right, there's three lines of... Piping on this cap, which we're going to have a go at. Um, hopefully, I won't. Make a sound if you of it. I never like doing this job. I always feel this could mess the entire thing up, you know, doing this. Get a bit of fresh bite going here. But in the interests of accuracy, folks, it's got to be done. This is really the final hurdle. Because after this, After this, 
it's sort of Uh, just doing the badges. Oh, there it will be home and dry. She sounds so funny. But this, folks, is where your 5.0 brush comes into its own. Let's go from this side. Add a bit more water in there. White. Yeah, it's always a challenge with these things. Not to make your piping too thick. Sure is a jiddly fob, I tell him that. Sure is a jiddly fob. There we go. Right, that's the top line done of piping. Let's see if I can show you that. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's up now to hold this damn thing. Oh, you can see that or not. See if I can hold him side on. Let's try it down this way. Oh, I don't like that, is it? Funny old camera. I don't know if you can see that, you can just about see that. That's the white piping on the top of the cap done. You can just about see that. The funny old camera. 
I gotta seek out something better than this. For sure. Right, now there's two lines further down of piping. So we'll try and get them done. Hopefully. Hopefully. We won't make a faux pas. Try hard not to make a mess of this. This is the worst job all. Made a little bit of a sazier of that. We can block out what's not wanted with some black. It's not a problem really. Not a problem. And the lowest bound of the three goes right around the cap. You'll be able to paint one of these later, won't you, Fudge? There you go, back again. I accidentally turned the camera off then. It's a bit of a nuisance. Didn't mean to. These things happen. These things happen. Yeah. Yeah, nearly done this. It's a tricky old job, this. Not a job I enjoy doing. But, 
thing is over here. Where's it's good to do it because that's how you get better. You don't. You don't get better by doing the easy stuff. You don't get better by doing the easy stuff. Oops. Right, just a little bit of white round the back. Let's get round the back of the cat done. And that'll be it. Then we can go over it in pink. This paint doesn't want to go for some reason. Come on, paint. Give me a break. Give me a break. Yeah, that's it. You know it makes sense. Yeah, the glow on this job's over for sure. Yes, indeed. A much hated job by Karen. <laughs> but that's not too bad, actually. I will settle for that. I will settle for that. Can always tidy it up in a bit. Can always tidy it up in a bit. Hopefully you can see the lines on that cap. You will. See them better when we've got the paint on there. So we'll let that dry. Give it a few minutes to dry. Then we'll have a crack with some Nine five eight pink. So see you in a second or two. Right, we're off and running. Right, let's get some of this pink out of the hat. Get some pink on his hat here. 
That'll be the main thing done then. Yeah, thank. Thank heavens for O brushes. Our five O brushes. Thank heavens for Thank heavens for five O brushes. the top band done anyway. Right, we'll go around the bottom band now. If that's possible, if this will thin down a bit this paint. cooperative It's a fiddly old job, this. Not one I enjoy doing, but... It all... Actually, so it's good that if you can do it, it's good. As I've said to you folks, this is how we get better by doing difficult stuff, not by doing easy stuff. There we go. 
Nobody ever got better by doing easy stuff. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. I'm quite happy with this. Right. Just one more ring to go. And we've done. And I suspect I suspect, folks Once I really get into painting these Germans, these Nazis I suspect I'll be doing a lot more piping. So I'll have plenty of time to practice it. Looking rather jolly. Yes. Yes, indeed. Starting to look rather good. And we're all but done. Right. Just thin this paint down a little bit. a little bit of refractive green just to even that out a bit so we'll put that to rights that's looking rather good Karen Looking rather good. Touching some little bits on the black here. Don't you dare cut out on me, wretched computer. There we go. I think that is as good as we're going to get it. Yeah, I think that's as good as we're going to get it, Karen. A little bit on the 
black of the hat here at the back. Balls. I think that's pretty damn good. What was that? Yes. Yes. Yes, I will be seeing this board at two forty. Yeah, okay, I will be seeing this. Oh. Yes. Right, right, sorry I had to make a uh, message there on my phone, sorry for that. Here's our guy now complete with pink piping. Let's try and get him up the right way for you. I can. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? Try and get him a bit closer for you. Yeah. Let's. There you go. Hopefully you can see that now. He's got pink piping now. Piping on the top of the hat as well. So it's starting to look really the real deal. So let's let that dry for two minutes and we'll finish this figure off. We'll finish it off. Right, back again with a cup of coffee. Right, final job for this figure is to do the badges on the cap. And we'll first off, we'll do them in. light grey which is not going to focus come on camera come on camera see how I do it now now it doesn't want to focus but I show you there you go light grey so we'll do the cap badges in light grey and then when that's dry we'll give it a little touch up of shiny silver which you just saw there I hate this camera but anyway we'll give it a touch up with shiny silver this is the final job on this figure be 
be interesting to see how long this video runs to when I edit all the sections of footage together. Probably something about an hour and a half or something, I shouldn't wonder. But not to worry. It's all good fun. And I hope you will all learn a little something from it. You know, making this video has run to almost a couple of days. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, would you? But it does time you film a piece of footage, then you watch it back, and then you let the paint dry that you just, you've just done, and so on and so forth. It all takes time. Shame today's weather is so bad. I haven't been able to get out and look for any butterflies or anything lately. Great pity. There's the death's head. Right. Put a bit more grey on me brush. That's pretty good. That's got it. Right, here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. There you go, logo on the cap. So we'll let them dry. And then we'll touch them up with a little bit of silver. Looking good. Looking good indeed. Well folks, here he is. Let's see if I can get him to focus. Here he is. That's our guy finished. Hope you like that. Wish I could get it in focus a bit better. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I do. Right. There he is.
That's our officer figure. Fully painted. Let's see if I can show you the bandage on my head there. Here I can show you the bandage on my head. There you go, that's the bandage on the side of the head. The bloody bandage. Yeah, very pleased with that. Nice looking figure. On top of the hat there. Yeah, nice looking figure. Quite happy with that. Nice standard for the gaming table. Stuck on a body, that'll look the real deal. What we will do, we'll let this dry for an hour or two. I'll give it a wash over with some um, light tone. Then it'll get a couple of coats of varnish. But that's the painting side of things done anyway. That's our figure done. I think that's done what's required of us. Hooray! So here's our guy, finally finished. He's had a coat of soft tone and some varnish. And that's our guy done. Very pleased with him. There you can see the bandage on him, the field dressing. Yeah, very pleased, very pleased indeed. So I hope that's, I hope that's give you an idea how to paint a face in 135 scale. But you could just easily use that for any other scale. Excuse me just a second. There you go. Now you can see me. <laughs> now you can see me not blurred. Yeah, I hope that gives you an idea how to go about painting a face in 135 scale. Um, apply that a technique to 28 mil or whatever, 54 mil, whatever. It's really not that difficult once you see the ideas behind it and the sort of layering technique is really not that difficult. Anyway, I hope that's been some use for you. See you on the next one.